Look at her. So beautiful. She's so special. Special girl. Good morning, everybody. This morning I thought I'd go for it. And yes, by go for it, I mean I would show you guys how we milk our cows here on our dairy farm. And I thought I'd do that with the help of Holly here, who, Holly's a little bit special. And yes, yes, a little bit special. And she's definitely not camera shy, are you, darling? <laughs> We milk our cows with milking robots, so that doesn't mean that I just spend all my time lying in bed and not milking cows. What it means is these lovely ladies here, like Holly, get to do exactly what they want to do. So we're on our farm, we're milking around 260 cows with five of these fantastic machines. Here we have 442 who's queuing up. Um, queuing up, waiting to go in the robot, and um, she's just gonna, robot's gonna open, and in she's gonna go, and she's gonna get her first dumping of nuts in that trough. There you can see she's getting some lovely little pellets. Um, she's not quite um, as camera friendly as Holly. Is. So come on, Holly, come on, let's go and walk on. Let's go and find some more people to annoy. Come on. So one of the best things about milking with the robots is that basically all of our cows, um, they are so happy. They get to do exactly what they want to do um, on their own on their own accord, off their own back. They choose exactly what they want to do. Um, they milk when they want, they eat when they want. They've got access to these things 24 hours a day. Um, they're not carrying the weight of the milk around. Um, it's just so much nicer for them to just have their own choice on what they can do. Um, so cow comfort is obviously a lot, lot better. One of my most favorite things about milking with the robots is the cows themselves. Like, as you can see here, Holly is just an absolute gem. She loves it and she's not the only one. Um, there are a few others that are obviously just as special as this. But this is something that you obviously don't see. You don't see this very much. You won't see, you won't see girls like this. They're spoiled rotten. They're as happy as they can be. And they absolutely love it. You know, they love doing what they, doing what they want to do. They can eat as much food as they like. They can milk as much as they want. Um, and when they want to get, get away from it all, they can just sit and chill and just sit and chill and just have a nice time have a great time um so yeah so we feed feed the cows like the bulk of their diet is fed down here through the feed passage so as you can see they're all chomping away loving life um, so yeah so there's the food they get all the food all their water they get access to this 24 hours a day they're never taken away from it and they can eat as much as they want there's loads and loads of space down all the sides to make sure that we don't have any fighting between the big bossy girls like her and the small timid girls like her who's just sat there waiting um so i'm gonna move out of the way because sometimes what happens is uh you get girls like holly who stand on the uh on the front of the robots and um then you get the timid girls who don't really want to come out and play. So now you can see, just as I move away from that area, number 90, who's obviously a little timid and a little quiet, um, she's just going to run and slip in there while no one's watching, while Holly is embossing everyone around, and that's the job sorted. As we walk through the shed, I'm just going to leave her there. You can see all the girls are quite happily quiet. They lay down, chewing the cud, happy as anything. Um, you know, these girls are some of the happiest cows you'll find. The way the robots work is we have to 
balance the feeding we got to make sure that they are fed just what we need so not that they're going to be underfed because obviously these are girls are producing milk as well as trying to live so we've got to feed them to produce that milk um, they've got to have all that energy all that, all that protein but obviously like us if you feed them too much they're just going to lay in their beds and they're not going to want to get milked because they are going to be in food comas they ain't going to want to get milked and then basically what that means is i have an awful lot more work to do than i would like to do so in this shed we have got around 160 170 cows it varies day to day um, and there's three robots there there's robot five four and three um, and then um, there's another shed just through there just through that shed there's another shed separate um, here's lady this is 216 she's called lady lady she's very special as well you can see ah yes doing a big slobber thank you thank you thank you thank you for that and here's 142 yeah another one everyone having a chew having a chew yes having a chew. come on i need to go so as i was saying there's another shed over there with another two robots in so that makes our five robots and that rounds the total up to around uh 250 260 cows milking uh just over there we've got a dry cow shed just right over there um so yeah so basically that's how the robots work and it's all voluntary and it's all based around the cow She's gonna get some nuts in there, and then what's gonna happen is she's gonna get a brush in here. So she's gonna get a teach brush, to make sure they're nice and clean by those brushes. So they're gonna brush every teeth. So then the brushes disinfect and come back and they're going to brush again. And so it's really important that we keep those teeth as clean as possible. And then this stops any disease um, spreading and keeps the, the milk as clean as possible. So that when the, when, when the milk's going in the tank and when it's going in, your milk bottles is as clean and as uh, healthy as it can possibly be. So that's the brushing finished, and then there's a laser. It's going to scan the teeth, and then hopefully should connect on each quarter. So there's the first one. So done. The, on the robot itself what we've got is data here constantly being collected so you can see up here this is cow number 195 she's going to take about uh, seven minutes in here and then this is her individual quarters we've all got uh, back right back left front right front left and then that's a milk deal she's going to be fed three and a half kilos of corn in here and then the milk's going in the main milk tank so the amount of corn they get is going to be determined to by their yield. Um, so she'll probably get three and a half kilos, probably given uh, one of the larger amounts of milk on the farm. Um, so we've got options to supervise our next visit here, so we can supervise it onto yes. What that means is it'll ring me um, when she's next in the robot if I need to do any sort of assistance with her carry out any chores I, I can just select yes there and then it will ring me. Uh, I can always put on a manual routing so in front of the robot there's a separation gate for the cow whether you can see that just through there where she's going to exit there's a gate that comes across from here and I can segregate her out if I need to do any work with her or she needs to see the vets 
So in the robot we've got sensors on each of the milk pipes in here which are going to detect the milk flow and then as soon as the milk flow starts to slow uh, the computer is going to tell it to pull each one of those off individually. Here's another lady waiting. I can tell you that's 299 from her face. We just scan round. Oh no, she doesn't want me to see what number she is even though I know she's 299. So there's the first quarter gone off. Um, so the other thing that we've got is there's a second quarter that's come off. The other thing that we've got in, the, in those sensors is any colour sensors, LEDs, going through the milk. The LEDs are going to um, reflect um, infrared light into the milk to check the colour of the milk, to check there's no mastitis or no blood in the milk. Um, obviously this doesn't happen very often, but it can happen. And if there's no one there to, to see it happening, then um, it will uh, sense it and it will automatically put the milk um, into these buckets here. So these have the used buckets here, which collect, you can see there's some milk there. It's going to collect any milk that we maybe need to feed the baby calves, um, any colostrum, anything along those lines, um, or obviously any antibiotic milk which cannot go into the tank. So there's the last quarter milking on its own. So that's going to come off in a couple of seconds now. And then what's going to happen is all four of those teats are going to get disinfected. Uh, and that is her milking, one of her milking is done today. She can go and do whatever she wants for the rest of the day now. So she is ready to milk again. So there's the last one come off. Disinfection on every quarter twice. Just to make sure there's good coverage. So that's that. Anyway, what's going to come out? The brushes are going to dry off and then it's going to just do a quick little wash to make sure there's no um, dirty stuff on the teeth on the liner, teeth liners for Max Cow. Um, so there's the water. It's also going to clean on the laser. Um, and enter next customer. Um, so as I said, the robots is a lot more leave the cows to the cows to get on with themselves. Um, there's a lot less uh, interference from us guys. They just get on with their life like they would normally. Um, but yeah. So yeah guys, if you've enjoyed this video and you want to see more of this video, then please like, leave a comment and hit the subscribe button and I'll show you more of what we do on our farm.